Hey guys, Moan Pobert here, and today I'm going to go through one lesson that I got from Dan Pena that you gotta implement in your life right away. So let's get to it. So hey, my name is Moan Pobert, and if you're new to this channel, this channel is all about me sharing, documenting my journey in the space of QLA, um, especially in this, um, specifically in the space of buying businesses or so growing businesses by acquisitions. I'm here to show you that if you have existing business, even if you're at a small six figures already, you can probably go and look for other businesses to buy in your sector and just learning that skill set alone can open so many different conversations for you that otherwise you wouldn't be even open to see i mean there's only so much sales and marketing you can do i'm here to show you that let's say you have an existing marketing business that's doing let's say uh, edwards for clients you can go and buy agencies that are doing seo you can go and buy a web design company you can go and buy a, a social media agency and you can use all of those different companies, bolt them on into one group. And not only the fact that you have different services to then uh, serve different clients from all of those businesses, you also have different managers in each of those businesses that can eventually take over your role. So you won't be a day-to-day -day operator. You're only going to be owner or uh, owner investor or owner shareholder and not owner manager or owner um, operator. Like I said, I'm here to show you that in the end of the day, most people who I know start a business from scratch, they basically get themselves a job in their business. And many times it's not even a high paying job. They're taking less salary that they could take when if they go and work somewhere else. And they got to make the, the, the shift from becoming an operator to an owner. And the best way to do it is to grow by acquisitions. The problem is that most people don't even know that it's possible. And even those who understand that it's possible, they think that they need to have a, an eight-figure business before they can even look at that, or they think they need to have millions in the back in order to do that. You don't have to do that. You can use the acquisition target assets and cash flow to finance most of the acquisition costs. Um, I'm here to basically share with you my lessons, some of the nuances and the mistakes that I've done in the process. I know that this is literally the channel that I wish that I had to, to watch when I started. So I'm, I'm here to, to share my journey and, and serve you guys because I know it's, it's, a, it's a lot of value for those of you who, who want to pursue QLA but not sure about the exact steps. Um, but yeah, that's kind of like as, a, as an intro. See the links in the description below if you didn't yet. There's a place for you to submit your questions and personal details and I'm creating uh, videos for you personalized basically based on your topics because that's my way of of finding ideas for videos so do that right now and also join um, our free facebook group if you didn't yet it's the link is in the description below as well yeah that's that's it for the introduction let's get to today's topic after the motorcycle gonna pass yeah we, we're good so let's let's get to today's topic which is again one of the best lessons that I got from Dan Pena from and, and again all of those lessons you can find them for free on his websites oh, those are the same lessons you're gonna get in the castle in his videos same lessons but I'm here to dive deep into each of those lessons just a little bit from again a perspective of someone who's buying businesses um, cool so the lesson today and I'm quoting is absence of evidence is not evidence of absence just because something has never been done doesn't mean it can't be done the fact you have never seen or heard something is not proof that it doesn't exist. So what that means in, in the space of growing by acquisitions, let's, let's get to that. So first of all, amazing quote. The first thing that comes up to mind, for me at least, for why it's such a good quote is the fact that when you set yourself goals, don't go for goals of what's possible or compare yourself to someone else. Aim for something I guess that was never done before or go for an internal goals. So what I'm trying to say is most people and, and think, think about back in the days, right? When there was no internet and let's say you're living in a village and you have this goal to become the best person in your village. You think that the only thing possible is what the best guy in your village is doing. But at the same time, so that's, that's kind of like the goal that you aim for. But at the same time, you don't know that there are so many other people in the world who are doing so many bigger things, but you're not even aware of them because all you know is things that someone in your circle is doing. Now, nowadays, things are very different because there's the world of internet and YouTube videos and, and books and articles and all that. So people are aware of what's possible much more. But then at the same time, 
they're many times aiming for goals only based on what their inner circle is aiming for. So for example, and I'm sure you know the quote, you're the average of the five closest people you hang out with. And most of the time, the goals that you're going to put to yourself, and many times it's even on the subconscious, it's not an external goal, but subconsciously, you're only going to aim for goals based on the people you surround yourself with. So if someone around you is making whatever, uh, 100,000 a year, your internal subconscious beliefs is probably going to aim to that number or maybe just a little bit more or just a, bit, a little bit less based on where you see your value in the world compared to that person. So I hope that makes sense. And when, that's why that sentence is so good. It's basically to open your eyes to the fact that the fact that um, you don't think something was done before um, doesn't mean it's true. And many times, even if, sub, if consciously you understand it, subconsciously you're not because your beliefs are thinking something completely different. And it sucks because it, it, it makes you stay the same place. It's like, it, it's like the story of this eagle who grew with chickens all his life and he didn't know that he can fly because everyone around him told him, hey, you're a chicken, you're a chicken, you can't fly. But at the same time, internally, he is a fucking eagle. He can fly. He just don't know that it's possible because all of his circle around him are chickens and they don't know what's possible even themselves. They have their own beliefs. And what I see, and that's why it's so fr fr frustrating, especially in the space of business, is that most people that I know are surrounded with chickens because they don't even know that it's possible to grow by acquisitions. They don't even know that it's possible to go and buy other companies. They think that the only way for them to grow their business is to go and find one client at a time, just because, and again, I thought that way in the past too, because that's what all the books out there are talking about. That's what all the courses out there are talking about. That's what all the events out there, like 99%, that's what they're talking about. And those who actually grow their business by acquisitions, most of the time, they are big already. Those are the public companies mostly or the very big private players. And what I'm trying to do, and again, I think it's, it's um, I guess, service in a very interesting niche, which is to open the eyes for the possibility of growing by acquisitions to the smaller size businesses. So businesses that are doing anywhere between mid six, six figures a year to high seven figure. And until most of the businesses that I know or, or talked with, they're not even thinking about their growing their business until when they're at around eight figures a year in sales, which I think is, is a, it's a shame because, and again, you don't even have to do that. I think just having the skill set is so important because that's going to open your eyes to so many opportunities and your conversations are going to be so much different because it's like you're going to put new goggles in, in your eyes and you're going to see the world in a completely different view now that you know that it's possible to buy a business. And now when you're talking to your supplier, um, you know that potentially you can buy his business too. Uh, but before that, before you knew it's possible, you wouldn't even think about it. So what can you do to change that? And first of all, again, I think the best thing you can do is look in yourself in the mirror and try to look at your life as objectively as possible. What I like to do sometimes is thinking to myself, what um, advice would I give to myself if my life were basically the life of my best friend? So think about your life as if it's someone else it's my best friend's life that's what's going on okay that's his life what advice would you give to yourself if you were your best friend and that's how you would look at your stuff a little bit objectively and won't be involved too emotionally and you need to really ask yourself difficult questions many times literally look at yourself write things down and say to yourself okay where do i want to be where did i see myself at at my age i don't know if you're in your 20s or 30s or 40s or 50s and I have people in, in the 60s who talk, who talk to me, but really think to yourself, okay, this is where I'm right now, write down where I am right now, what, how much money am I making, how much in revenues, how much in profit, is that after taxes, before taxes, how much money do I take home, how much money did I take home, did I take any money from my business, were I able to build any assets from the money that I took from the business, or I always had to invest money back, so I don't really have, I, I didn't really build any wealth, I just run, uh, basically I have the ups and downs of the business all the time, so Sometimes I have money, sometimes I don't. Really look at yourself and, and ask yourself, this is, is this where I, I, I thought I'll be at my age? Or ask yourself, is this the amount of money I saw myself making? Or at least am I making more now than I did six months ago or one year ago? And if yes, how much more? And if how much more, was that the goal that I aimed for? Um, and, and if you're not 
achieving those results. And again, look at results. Don't don't listen to your feelings, if that makes sense. Be really objective and logical about your results. Because if you're going to be emotional about, yeah, I feel good. I, I think I did my best. That's that's not enough, guys. You need to really be objective. Like literally, like like in the army. Again, I I, th I told you I've been in the army for a few years and. It's being really objective and logic about things and understanding, okay, this is what we need to, we need to do or this is what we needed to do. Here's why we achieved it, here's or, or not. And here are the lessons. What can we do? What can we do to improve? And the biggest thing you can do to yourself, especially, and I'm sure you feel that way, you feel that you're the eagle many times surrounded by chickens, um, as bad as it sounds. But unless you're going to change your environment and be around people who do the things you want to do, it's going to be really hard to change that. So if you want um, me and my team to help you change that, and I'm definitely, I mean, I, I don't know if I can personally help you because I need to understand what your business is. But if you have an existing at least six-figure business and you want to explore the option of growing it by acquisition, my team, me and my team can definitely find out if we can help you. And if we can help you, awesome. We'll find out the truth. We'll find out if we can actually help you or not. Maybe we need to direct you to someone else or some other path. But if, if yes, we are definitely able to help you grow by acquisitions because that's what we're doing. Me and my team uh, combined did more than 300 deals. So we can help you 100%. And if you want to check more about that and you want to surround yourself with eagles because we are 100% the eagles of this industry, helping businesses grow by acquisitions. If you want our help, go to moanpaber.com forward slash talk. See the details there. Otherwise, see the links in the description below. If you're not ready yet or you're not at that stage, you don't have a business yet, um, see the links in the description below. One of them is for our free group and one of them is for um, you submitting your topics and ideas for videos. So I'll have something to talk about in the next video. Um, yeah, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it and I see you soon. See, comment below, let me know what you think. I'll see you soon. Thank you.